so um, the school's project was developed as part of the activity raising awareness for and learning with intangible cultural heritage in European schools. As a member of UNESCO AASP network, our school responded to the call and applied for um, the joint uh, for the pilot joint UNESCO EU workshop integrating intangible cultural heritage in school based education. We applied successfully with the 2018 project on Mediterranean diet, which we had designed and implemented in the framework of the Erasmus K, uh, plus KA2 project routes with four more um, European schools. In October 2019, we went to Vienna, where 10 European teachers, accompanied by one of the students, attended a three-day seminar with UNESCO-trained facilitators in order to develop innovative pilot projects using an element of intangible cultural heritage to teach with, to be carried out at their schools. For our innovative uh, project, uh, which is entitled New Steps on an Old Path, we decided to use Rebetico. Uh, in a nutshell, Rebetico is a form of musical and cultural expression directly linked to song and dance, which is inscribed on the UNESCO representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Rebetico became one of the primary musical expressions of the refugee groups that settled in most Greek urban centers after the exchange of Greek Orthodox and Muslim populations in 1922. Nowadays, uh, Rebetico songs are a standardized repertoire in almost every social occasion involving music and dance. So what did we do with Rebetico? We designed a cross-curricular project to integrate Rebetico in our daily teaching of four curricular subjects from various perspectives. First of all, to serve the aims and objectives of the national curriculum in four subjects, the subjects you can see in the poster are, are English as a foreign language, physical education, Greek literature, and ICT, information and communication technology. The second perspective was to explore the intangible cultural element itself by contributing, thus contributing to its safeguarding. Our third perspective was to provide the background for integrating a large number of the democratic competences of the reference framework of competences, of competences for democratic culture of the Council of Europe to promote cultural literacy, of course, um, uh, by raising awareness about culture and cultures, to promote the understanding of cultural pluralism through the recognition and the multiplicity and fluidity of cultural identity. And finally, um, the projects of all 10 schools working on the joint EU-UNESCO program were presented in the second part of the joint workshop, which was held in Rotterdam in February 2020, uh, two days before the quarantine. Um, and the material of the workshops, uh, as well as the case studies and projects of all 10 European schools are included in the resource kit for teachers entitled Teaching and Learning with Living Heritage, which is currently under publication in English and French by UNESCO and the European Union. Thank you very much.